What's up everybody? So for this video I'm going to be demonstrating and comparing two different restoration pieces of software. One's Isotope RX and the other one is called RIP X. Uh, it's by Hit and Mix. They both have the capability of separating audio into various stems uh, and that can be beneficial if you're using it to remix old songs or do some restoration work on old audio or you know repairing a, a performance of some kind. Uh, so for this, I'm actually going to be using it to uh, clean up some audio from a uh, theater play, and I'll play a little bit of it now. You can hear a lot of hiss in the background, and because it is in a theater, you can hear a lot of uh, reverb in the overall recording. Uh, you can actually hear the stomps from him on stage, which is very uh, loud. But I feel like this can be cleaned up quite a bit. So I'm going to be trying to use these two different pieces of software and see what they can actually do. Isotope RX is made specifically to repair audio, where the Rip X is almost like Melodyne, where it has the capability of splitting audio into different um, pieces. The primary focus of this is to compare how well they can separate audio into stems. Uh, so I'm just going to leave the default settings uh, for both and I will have the quality set to high, or for this it, sh it says best, and I will have a timer showing how long it actually takes. I know this is very CPU intensive, so yeah, let's keep that in mind when you're using these pieces of software. So I'm gonna start my timer, and I'm gonna start the separation process. It's a little over 11 minutes, and we have our stems. So you can actually hear the original. That all family fool. Just the vocal. There are one or two rules. What's picked up as percussion. You can actually hear the steps on stage. I wish they had a preview window. Uh, for this, but they don't, unfortunately. Bass. Some of the low resonance there. Okay. Under other. Okay, so that's uh, more of the strings. So let's hop on over to Rip X and see what that can do. So now we're here in Rip X, and you can drag and drop as well. Or you can go to File and open your file from there. Okay, so I selected my the, the same footage from the theater play. And this kind of gives you some options as well as, as to what the material is. Uh, if it's a single instrument, or sound effects, multiple instruments. Um, I will say multiple instruments just to be fair. Kind of pick and choose what you all to want to have included. Again, I'm going to leave the quality at the best. Because um, I want to compare what it sounds like with the other uh, RX. So I'm going to start what they call a rip, which is the splitting process of it going into the, the uh, different frequencies there. So I'm starting the stopwatch and I'll begin the rip. Okay, so now it finally finished the uh, rendering of everything. So that took a little over 31 minutes. So let's hop back over. Well, first, let's take a listen, shall we? So I like how this has a preview window, so you can also keep track of the video as it's playing. So let's just compare how it divided the audio from uh, both platforms. How Isotope splits it, it has it in its own tab. And then within these tabs, again, you can apply all their restoration um, plugins that they have. So removing voice, hiss, uh, clipping, etc. So let's just hear how this sounds by itself. Okay, not bad. It's usable. So let's hop over to Rip X. So this doesn't create tabs. It just has them on their own individual um, like tracks. So I have to solo this by itself. 
and buffoon is a light hearty groom if you listen to popular rumor. From the morn to the night he's so joyous and bright and he bubbles with wit and good humor. He's so quaint and so terse, both in prose and in verse, yet the people forgive his transgression. There are one or two rules. Let me hear that section. There are one or two rules. There are one or two rules that all fa They're both very interesting. So they both contain a lot of the information. There was really nothing that was lost too much. I do hear slightly more artifacting happening uh, with isotopes. Must observe that they love their profession. If you wish to succeed as a jest can hear all kinds of different uh, background um, artifacts in there. Must observe that they love their profession. Observe that they love their profession. If you wish to succeed as Seems like it's a lot cleaner. It took a lot more time. Must observe that they love their profession. If you wish to succeed as a can you hear that? Hopefully you can hear that if you're listening with the uh, good monitors. Must observe that they love their profession. If you wish to succeed as a jester, you'll need to consider each... There's considerably more noise, I would say, uh, overall with the uh, isotopes, which is very interesting. So let's move on to a different section here. So under their... What do they have under percussion? This was... Sounds like when he's actually landing on the stage. So that's what that's picking up as percussion. So let's see here. I'm assuming it would be under drums. So um, I have drums and percussion selected right now in the uh, Ripex. So if you just want to solo the background noise to remove it, that makes it a lot easier. Uh, what does it have for bass? So under bass, let's see here. I would say there are elements of that that can be used. It would take a lot of filtering. So it seems like it filtered out a lot cleaner in the Rip X, but I am hearing different artifacting right there. And I like how this is automated or an animation where you can actually see where some of the peak levels are right around here. Something in there is getting picked up in a weird way. Moving on, let's hear what else it did with the guitar it has it I don't know if I'd label that as guitar So you can definitely hear it's lower lower uh, sonic elements of the bass are still kind of in here.
And I would consider that to be kind of more under the other category for isotope. So let's hear this. Oh, we can hear some of the uh, voice actually is still in there. Can I hear the word cradle in there actually? Well, that would have been where it was located, so it definitely separated that voice out a lot better. Okay, and I think that is a good comparison of the audio. I'm going to wrap it up here, so be sure to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you want to see me do next.